Someone recently gave me a Latitude 5580 with a uh, broken keyboard. I uh, ordered another one off of Amazon and I'm going to replace it here. Uh, I recommend not necessarily doing this right after an oil change, but as you can see from my hands, I did. Unscrew the eight screws holding the back cover on. Note that these are not designed to actually come out of the back cover, but uh, some they may. Two of mine did because it's just an older system. Just set them aside. Remove the back cover and set aside. Remove the screw holding the battery in place and set it aside. Unplug the battery and set it aside. And of course my cable was stuck so I went with plan B and unplugged directly from the battery. Disconnect the four keyboard ribbon cables. Remove the plate hiding the screws and set it aside. Remove the six screws holding the keyboard in place and set them aside. Time to pop the keyboard out. Be careful of the four ribbon cables underneath the mouse buttons. They load the space bar. Time to install the new keyboard. Just slide the ribbon cables into place and then lay the keyboard down into position and ensure that the five tabs at the top are slipped underneath the cover. And Reattach the keyboard with the six screws previously set aside. Place the keyboard plate into place and ensure that you press all around to make sure that all the clips click. Reattach the four ribbon cables. Make sure they are nice and tight and snug in the clips. Plug in the battery. Put the battery back into position and then reinstall with the screw. Put the back cover back onto the unit and press around the sides to make sure the clips clip back into place. Now just screw the back cover in place and you're good to test. This one powered up perfectly. I went ahead and wiped the hard drive and reinstalled Windows and ended up giving this one away to a teacher that did not have a personal system. But it was a good... Good success story. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.